hello everyone so today we are going to work on how to handle death for the AI characters and for the uh, for our player character so here once I kill the enemy let me block so I don't get damage so the as you can see he dropped both shield and the sword and uh, AI is also turned off uh, the behavior tree and the AI controller is also turned off and disabled but you can't say that here so these are the things we are going to work on today uh, before we get started I'd like to remind you you can download the project files uh, of this project and all other thousands of projects from my patreon page link would be in the description below and also this project is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system tutorial series i'm doing so you can watch all the all the episodes that i have done from my channel i leave the link to the full tutorial playlist also in the description all right and uh, let's get back to today's tutorial okay so at the moment if I start the game and here let me kill the enemy first but still I'm not getting damage because I'm blocking okay now even if I have killed the enemy you see you see some reaction that's because and I died that's because even though the character is in the ragdoll mode my uh, the AI controller is doing attack so that's why this changes in the weapons happen as well even though the character is dead so what we need to do is we need to basically turn off the AI and also I'd like to make the weapons drop first let's see how to turn off the AI so for that so death is handled through this gameplay ability death let me open that so what happens is i call this death gameplay ability when the character depletes all its uh, health uh, i think that happens here in the update health function here also i call these two uh, functions this is basically responsible for enabling the ragdoll mode and this disable collision of the capsule main capsule of the character so that it does not collide with other characters in the world so i think i'd like to move that part also in here because i'd like to have everything in one place related to death so we are only calling that ability so we can keep the character class simple right now here we don't have a mesh and capsule component we have to get it from here mesh i think we should promote it to a variable yeah Okay, now from the character, we can get the character moment component and also on the character, we can call disable inputs. This is only relevant for the player character, but it wouldn't make any problems for AI characters too. And the mesh should be taken from the character, get mesh. and the capsule also should be taken from the character okay so these are not reload to ai now the next part i want to do is i need to disable the ai so for that we could do something like this 
from the character get here controller and call on process now this should disable AI let's test this okay he died and um, I am not get attacked anymore I don't get any hits anymore that's because the AI is now disabled also there is there is no point keeping the AI controller in the world so therefore oh, one more thing we should check before disabling this is valid right and if it is valid we should do whatever we want to do here I'll set lifespan before I unprocess so this would be destroyed automatically in let me say it like 0.1 seconds so it will have enough time to unprocess alright now the air controller will be fully destroyed okay and the next thing is let me collapse this and yeah name it destroy AI controller we need an output so Add a sequence this is easy it is easier to add a sequence and whatever happens in this section wouldn't matter after that we will exit okay and then uh, I need to drop weapons so for that let me go to the weapons blueprint and uh, weapons here let's first do for the sword uh, for the sword we have we already have an interface implemented you can see that here vpi weapon here i'll add a function drop and basically what i want to do is in here now i can implement drop I will set simulate physics for the sword object but I think I have disabled collisions for this yeah it's no collision because I don't want it to interfere with the character so before we enable physics we need to set collision profile to I think block all should do oh well maybe instead of block call we can use block all dynamic no block call static oh there is no such option the only reason to have block call is static block only static would be like if you don't want the dropped weapon to interact with other characters okay now this is fine and after setting that i need to um, set collision enabled otherwise we can't simulate physics and I'll make it physics only okay oh wait all right and then 
we can call this function on when we when the character is dead but first we need to get a reference to the weapon so before i do that do this let me copy this so let me copy this event and also implement it in the shield because shield is a different actor it's not a child so here i would have to ah the name is same because i duplicated i should have escape shield i should have used this name all right now uh from the character we need to get the weapons so here we already have this get weapon function basically it only returns the right weapon so weapon in the right hand i think it would be better if we return both weapons so for that again we have to open the weapon wielder and i rename this get weapons and then i rename this to weapon r compile oh i get in errors so good and also we are getting an error in the animation blueprint okay all good mm. weapon r and i need to return weapon l as well so weapon l the weapon in the left hand okay so now no errors get weapons here I'll simply return weapon L2 all right now let's go back to our death gameplay ability here again get the character get weapons and weapon r let's check if it is valid well to call interface event maybe it's not need to it's not necessary to do the valid check let's check let's directly call drop drop all right now let's check got an error weapon r okay all right see now it dropped the weapon but it's rolling so that's because the sword I, I don't even see where the sword went okay that's because the shield uh, physics asset should be a ball like yeah see it's a capsule that's not the shape it should have so we can delete this show it show all bones okay let's add a box instead of a capsule and 
to left it's enough to approximately cover this not necessary to be perfect front okay uh, rotate this okay and similarly let me quickly check the swords it's accessed as a shoulder bones that's also a capsule that's not what i want i need a box okay should be larger to cover all right that should be good enough and let's check again now <laughs> both dead and now no funny moments in the capsule in the shield or the sword okay so i think we are good to stop this episode here so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode so we have a lot more to cover in this series uh, actually i want to do a parry system and some finisher combos as well so yeah let's see what we can do in upcoming episodes feel free to let me know what you guys think don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye